everyone, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today's tumbler is going to be a hydro dip tumbler using Easy Marble. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the materials where I purchased the products from and then we'll get started. First, let's go over the paints. The paints I'm going to be using, it's the Easy Marble by Marabou. And where I purchased these is from GlitterHeartCompany.com. I do have a coupon code for these paints for 15% off of your first order from GlitterHeartCompany.com. So I will be posting everything and all the information, the links in my description below. These paints, they might seem really small, but they really do go a long way. Just like glitter, a little bit of this goes a long way and you'll see this in the video. And I think Glitter Heart Company, they have over 30 colors of these paints. Uh, from blues, greens, purples, orange. So again, I will be linking all that information in my description below. You're also going to be needing a tumbler. I am using a 30 ounce skinny from uh, Stainless Steel Depot. It is hog brand. What I did with this tumbler is it does come stainless steel. I went ahead and I wiped this down with my 91% alcohol and then I spray painted it with a pink color. It is called Ballet Slipper from Rust-Oleum. You're gonna need your cup tumbler arm and you're gonna need to, to have this while you're dipping your uh, tumbler, so make sure you do have this on hand. You're going to need a grocery bag or some type of plastic. You'll also be needing a stir stick. I will be posting in my description below where I purchased my fun stir stick from. If you don't have anything like this, a wooden stick, a popsicle stick works perfectly fine. You're also gonna be needing Mod Podge and a Mod Podge br brush or a sponge brush. As long as your Mod Podge dries clear and not white, that's the Mod Podge that you wanna use. So I have also used the light blue container, the dishwasher safe one, again, as long as it dries clear. Lastly, you're going to be needing a container filled with water. The container that I'm using is just a five gallon bucket. And this bucket I have reused for the last year. If you can see all the excess paints that go on the side, this is stuck on the side. It will not affect my new tumbler whenever I dip it. As for the container size or the bucket size, you're wanting your bucket to be at least double the size of your tumbler because whenever you go and drop this into the water, I'm going to kind of drop it at an angle and then twist it. So I want enough room inside of the container to, um, to move the tumbler around without hitting the sides. If you don't have a five gallon bucket on hand, you can always improvise and use other containers around the house, such as trash cans or old trash cans. I do have this office trash bin that I have, and if I were to be hydro dipping a wine tumbler, this would be perfect for a wine tumbler or even a 10 ounce tumbler if I didn't have my five gallon bucket. And of course, I always recommend you wearing gloves while working with any paint, spray paints, epoxy, and try to wear some old clothes just in case um, paints or anything does get on your clothes. I also put my craft towel down um, that I use every time. So whenever I'm done, I just roll this back up and I put this in the five gallon bucket. I just use this just to protect my flooring. So I'm now going to fill this uh, bucket up with water. Now, since this is a taller tumbler, I wanna make sure I fill this up a little higher than what I typically would. So I'm going to fill this up about three quarters of the way, or a little less than three quarters, because I want the tumbler to completely be submerged into the water. So I don't want any of the tumbler not being able to hit the water, because that's where the paints are going to, um, to stick to the tumbler. I have my five gallon bucket filled with water. Uh, what I did was I just went to my bathtub, I turned on my hot water spigot, my cold water spigot, and I just let the water run into the bucket. So it is about room temperature. Um, it might be a little colder, it might be a little warmer. To me, it does not matter. I just turn on both spigots and I let them flow inside of the, the five gallon bucket. As for my tumbler and the tumbler arm, I'm gonna remove my tumbler from its arm and then I'm going to take my my grocery bag and I'm just going to wrap my arm and in, in the grocery bag. This just protects the bag or I'm sorry, the, the, the foam piece from the water. So if you don't want to get this wet, then you could just do what I'm doing or you can just leave it um, without the protective bag inside of there and just let the foam um, just dry overnight whenever you're done hydro dipping. 
And if you can see in there, I just place the foam inside of the, the grocery bag. And if it does get a little wet, it's no big deal. The foam does dry pretty quickly. So the colors that I'll be using for this tumbler today will be posted in my description below, but they're going to be turquoise, rose pink, lavender, and amethyst. I'm also gonna be using gold and silver just to show y'all how the gold and silver turns out onto the tumbler and how it looks blended with the other colors. Before you put your paints into the, the bucket of water, you're wanting to shake them because they do tend to separate. So make sure you give them a good shake before you put them into the water. All right, so I have all of my paints open and they have uh, been shaken and I'm ready to put them in the water. I do wanna let y'all know that these paints, they do have a strong smell. So if you feel comfortable putting your mask on, go ahead and do that. I also have my exhaust fan in my window right now. It is on. Um, so that's helping the smell get out of my room. Make sure you are either outside or in a very well ventilated place. Okay, so let's start with the pink, or the rose pink and the lavender. So I'm just going to shake them into the tumbler, or I'm sorry, into the water. And like I say every time, there's no rhyme or reason the way I'm doing this. <laughs> A lot of this tumbler stuff is uh, no rhyme or reason. So I did the pink, I did the turquoise, I did the purple, now I'm doing the amethyst, the darker purple. And you can see, look how, Look how like vibrant these colors are. They are so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the, the silver because if you are working with silver and gold, make sure you add that one last. It's just like when you're working with spray paint, it's kind of a metallic color, so that tends to dry quicker. And then I'm gonna add the gold. That gold is beautiful. And so what I like to do is whichever color I start with, I end with so I started with the lavender so I'm gonna go ahead and add the lavender more and then the pink I, I actually started with as well so you see that beautiful colors that they have going on right here so now you're gonna take your popsicle stick or your stirring stick and I'm just gonna grab the paint and I'm just gonna scoot it to the sides kind of kind of making a film of the paints so you want like a sheet of paint. So whenever you drop that tumbler in there, it grabs onto that tumbler. The whole sheet just, just grips onto the tumbler. Look how beautiful that is. So now we're gonna take our tumbler and we're just going to dip it. As I'm dipping it, I'm gonna dip it as an angle and I'm also gonna turn it. So I'm spinning my tumbler as I'm dipping. So I'm spinning, dipping at an angle, dip it all the way down, let the water go in there and then bring it up. Now this is filled, filled, filled with water. So let me just dump that out. And this is why I, I put a towel down underneath the, the bucket. And look at that dip. It is beautiful. I'm gonna get better lighting here in a second. Okay, so I put my tumbler on my makeshift drying rack here. And the good thing about this is you can clean this up the bucket easily quickly and then go ahead and dip another tumbler so what I have here is I have um, just some cardboard pieces that I cut and all you do is you place the cardboard and you just run it around the edge and all of the paints tend to click or uh, stick to the cardboard so you see how it's all stuck and then you can take the other side and do the same if there's little pieces um, left inside of the water it's okay for your next cup it's not going to stick to it because this paint has been dried so there you go so now you can just go ahead and add more paints to this one and go ahead and dip another tumbler so let me show you this beautiful dip on this tumbler i know i use a lot of colors guys but i wanted to show you every single color that they have maybe that will be in my next video a dipping using all of their colors that they provide at Glitter Heart Company. Um, but you see the, see how the gold, how vibrant that gold is, and you can see the waves in this tumbler, how vibrant all these colors are and how um, beautiful this, this dip is. 
So all these colors um, are mixed together, but they still have their individual uh, flow to them, which I love. And you see it got the bottom here. So now that you've uh, dipped your tumbler and it is now wet, you can either let this air dry or if you are in a hurry, you can always take your hair dryer, um, not your heat gun, but your hair dryer, and you can kind of blow off the excess water, the little water spots you see on here, you can blow dry that off. Or you can take a paper towel and lightly blot around the tumbler just to get up all of the, the water spots. So this might take a little bit of time, but it is faster than drying, um, than air drying your tumbler if you're in a hurry. So make sure you are lightly blotting. I wait about five minutes to do this step. I let it uh, sit on my drying rack for about five minutes and then I go ahead and I blot it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then we'll get on to the next step. Tumbler is completely dry. I've blotted the water spots around the tumbler. And now what you're going to do is you're going to apply Mod Podge over this. So this has been about 10 or 15 minutes since I've uh, dipped this tumbler. You don't have to wait 15, 20 minutes, an hour. Go ahead and apply two coats of Mod Podge. So I'm going to take my Mod Podge. I'm going to apply it around the entire tumbler. And like I said, you're going to need the clear Mod Podge. Um, so it can dry clear so you can still see the design behind it. So you're going to apply this around the tumbler. You're going to let the Mod Podge dry. Once it is completely dry, you're going to add another coat of Mod Podge. And the way that you know that this is dry is whenever it's clear. So right now you see the Mod Podge kind of white or foggy, so it is still wet. It takes about 25, um, depending on the, actually depending on the amount of Mod Podge you use, it takes about 25 to 45 minutes, depending on your thickness. So you want a, you want a um, complete coverage of this Mod Podge, especially at the rim. I know a lot of people tend to forget the rim, but make sure you are focusing on the rim. Make sure you're focusing on the bottom here. You want this tumbler completely covered. So the reason why you Mod Podge and seal this tumbler before you epoxy is because the easy um, marble paints are actually oil-based. So whenever you go and apply your epoxy onto your tumbler, the epoxy will actually repel. So it doesn't have anything to stick to the tumbler. Um, there's going to be a lot of circles, bumpiness on your tumbler. It will not stick or cure or dry evenly whenever you go to epoxy it. So while my first coat of epoxy is drying, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about if you don't seal your tumbler with your Mod Podge before you epoxy. So this tumbler, I went ahead, I prepped it, I spray painted it, I, I dipped it with the easy uh, marble paints, and then I just went ahead and I epoxied it. I even waited two days to epoxy this and let this dry, and this tumbler still repelled. So I don't know if the camera is gonna pick this up properly or not, but if you see, there's a lot of bumps in this tumbler, um, a lot of spots where the, the epoxy didn't stick to it, it's because these paints are oil-based and these are rejecting the epoxy. The epoxy doesn't want to stick to the paints because there's oil in there and it just doesn't have a nice grip to, uh, to stick to it. So if you see, I hope you guys can see this, but if you see all these spots, you can see that it is not even at all. So even the bottom, you see the bottom, there's a lot of spots that the, that the tumbler uh, that the epoxy just didn't stick to on the tumbler. I was gonna go ahead and just strip this tumbler. I was so mad when I did this, but I was like, you know, I'm gonna save this for my video and show people what not to do to avoid this happening. So I hope now you have a better understanding of why you do not um, just jump right into epoxy after you dip your tumbler. My first coat of my Mod Podge is dry, so now I'm gonna add my second coat. And I don't know if I mentioned this um, earlier in the video, but I am being very generous with the amount of Mod Podge that I put on these tumblers because I don't want any chance of the tumbler not being sealed. So go ahead and the thicker, um, the better. So the thicker the coat of the Mod Podge, the better. 
Um, I'd rather have too much than have the epoxy repel on the tumbler like my black and purple tumbler did. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my last coat of Mod Podge on here, a very generous coat, and then I'm gonna let this air dry and then we'll move on to the epoxy. All right, guys, I am back and I do have my mask on to protect me from the epoxy. So I will be yelling. I will not be yelling in a rude manner. I just for, I want y'all to uh, be able to hear me. My tumbler is completely dry with its Mod Podge. I did put a thicker coat for my second coat. So it took about 45 minutes to dry. Whenever you move on to your epoxy step, make sure your entire tumbler is completely dry with the Mod Podge. This is very important. You don't want to put wet epoxy on wet Mod Podge. I went ahead and I mixed my epoxy off camera. I will be posting a video in my description below of how to mix epoxy properly. So that's why I mix it off camera. I mixed a total of 15 mLs of epoxy. So I did 7.5 part A, 7.5 part B, mixed them together, totaling 15 mLs of epoxy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my epoxy to my tumbler. And this is the same way as you would with any other tumbler. There's no special way of how I apply. Now I did only mix 15 mLs for this 30 ounce tumbler because I'm planning on adding a decal after I epoxy this. So I don't want anything too thick on here. I just want a thin coat uh, just to cover the tumbler so I can add that decal. Once I add my decal, I'm gonna go ahead and epoxy over the decal again. So what my steps are going to be is epoxy like you are seeing, let the tumbler dry or cure for 12 hours. Once it has dried or cured for 12 hours, that's when I will apply my decal. Once I apply my decal, I'm going to go ahead and immediately apply the epoxy after. So you don't have to wait any time after applying your decal to, to epoxy the final coat. The decal is not wet or anything, so just go ahead and apply that epoxy right after your decal. So I wanted to show you all how these colors really pop after you put the epoxy on. I'm going to change the lighting of my camera, and I'm going to give you a better view of how these colors really come to life under the epoxy. So whenever you're applying your epoxy, if you already start seeing your tumbler repel, your epoxy repel, then that means you did not add enough Mod Podge to your tumbler. So it will repel immediately. When I did that purple and black cup, within minutes, the, the epoxy started repelling and I started getting uh, bumps and kind of like holes around my tumbler. So if your tumbler looks like mine right now, it is drying or it is, um, still smooth then you applied plenty enough um, Mod Podge and it is sealed properly. I will also be adding my links on how to uh, apply epoxy to a tumbler. So all of my beginners that are watching please go ahead and look at my description below. All of my links to my videos, all of the materials I use, all of the help guides that I can use to help you with this tumbler more will be posted in the description. So like I mentioned to y'all earlier, I just want to show y'all how these uh, colors look under epoxy and how the colors really pop. Especially that gold, that metallic gold is really shining through the epoxy. My tumbler has been spinning for a couple hours now. Um, I am going to let this spin for another two hours. I'm going to shut it off after it's been spinning for four hours and then let it air dry or air cure 
for another uh, four to six hours, letting it dry for a total time of 10 to 12 hours. Again, I will be posting that 15% off coupon code inside of my description below. It does allow you to use the code for not only the paints, but it um, allows you to use the code for Glitter Heart Company's glitter as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tumblers and uh, craft videos. Thank you guys for watching and I will see y'all next time.